folks, welcome back to Getting Started with Clawhammer Banjo. This is lesson two, how to read tablature. Uh, why are we using tablature? Well, what is tablature? What's going on? Why does he have a whiteboard? Well, let's get to it. Um, traditionally, uh, music like this would have been taught by ear and by sight, not by writing anything down at all. Um, so, you know, if someone in your family or close by played this style of banjo and you were just around it all the time and your parents went to a dance every Friday night and you heard this music all the time, then you'd be learning it in a natural way. Um, we're not in that kind of situation. We've got the internet to try to teach us. So uh, we use YouTube and we use tablature in combination to try to make it happen. Tablature is not the musical staff from piano lessons or choir practice. It's a diagram of your five banjo strings. So it doesn't notate like the name of the note or something. It just notates where to put your hands and what to pick. Why do we use this for fretted instruments? Um, well, it's because you can play the same note name and the same octave multiple places on the banjo. So it's not just about what note to play. It's where to do it and how to do it. That's what matters. So I use tablature to teach all my fretted instruments um, because I think it uh, is a great way to get you going fast and get you going using your ear to listen to how the piece sounds and not relying on the um, notation. Nobody performs on stage or at a dance with tablature in front of them. You use the tablature to learn, and then the recording to learn the tune quickly and by ear, and then you get rid of the tablature. So that's our goal with this. So uh, forgive the glare, I'm doing my best. Um, we've got five lines on our staff. Each one represents one of your banjo strings. This is the first string, second string, third string, fourth string, fifth string. That's the one closest to the ground. That's the little tiny one by your face. First, second, third, fourth, fifth strings. Okay? If you see a number on one of these strings, that means you're supposed to press down that fret. What's a fret? Frets are these bars that go across your banjo. So if you see a number five written on up here on that line, that means first string, fifth fret. So I'm pressing behind the fifth fret on the first string. And then, because it's claw hammer, we're gonna take our right our first finger and just play that note. That's what's notated, five. If, what if you see a two on that string? Well, that means move your hand down to the second fret and do the same motion. And then if you see an open, that means open string. So all three of those, five, two, oh, they're all on the first string right now. If they were on a different string, they'd be on one of these lines, okay? So when, when I want to notate a brush, Nicole writes out a little arrow. So if we play five, two, oh, brush. And then the fifth string thumb it just goes like that. So that's five, two, oh, brush thumb. And that's how we're gonna do notation for the whole book. So you listen to the song on the videos uh, on YouTube, go to this um, recommended listing I give you for some of these things, get the things in your ear, and use the tablature to know where to put your hands to make that happen. Um, so you'll see these arrows and the thumbs throughout the whole book. Okay, so what if it's right here? Well, that's second string, third fret. And then second string, first fret, second string, open, etc. So um, we're going to go all over the banjo, all the different strings later. Um, it might be kind of hard right now to play these inner strings. That's the next lesson. Uh, but for right now, tablature, I'm just hoping you're understanding this. Now to practice your tablature reading and get you moving around, we have um, in lesson number two here, a little bit of hot cross buns and a little bit of snowdrop. So uh, the melody is all on the first string for both of these. So it's good practice and I'll play them both for you right now. First, I'll play hot cross buns. Get on the ninth fret. So it was a melody note and a, and a brush thumb over and over again. When, you, if, when I have a melody note, press down, keep holding it down through the brush and the thumb. So like. Then the melody note rings longer. We don't want to. Don't take your hand off. So if it says nine brush thumb, 
keep your hand down for nine, brush them. So hot cross buns again. Okay, let's go on and do a little bit of snow drop. That's, this is actually a longer banjo tune, but this is just a little fragment of it for practice. Starts on fifth fret. start over and do it again a million times so that's our little tablature lesson um, it's uh, got a couple melodies for you to practice now and you've got to just keep this motion going the note brush them over and over again until it becomes a really natural to you and uh, yeah check back in for the next lesson cheers